Uh, so last year, I think it was, uh, uh, Dario from 107 Projects actually ap approached me um, about the idea of a collaboration between Hack Sounds, uh, which is an initiative of 107 Projects, and Murmuration come together. And I just thought it'd be really cool to place this experience within a creative lab, within an experimental type process, especially given that it was new relationships, um, new artists coming together to work. Um, and so yeah, I designed a program um, in consultation with Liz Martin as well, who'd been uh, leading up Hack Sounds. Um, the idea of Obscured was to look at those things in life that are obscured, or how we perceive things in life, particularly within the context of invisible disability. I feel like there's definitely more awareness now around mental illness, around chronic illness, um, around invisible disabilities, but I'm a big believer of telling our stories and, and using the arts as a vehicle to do that. And for me, I feel like that's a, that's a kind of cool way of sharing information that might be a little bit hard to hear, but doing it in a way that is perhaps entertaining or engaging or stimulating. The content isn't explicitly about mental illness or a specific illness as such, it's more just like the lens in which we experience life has been the, the catalyst for the work that we've made. The process has been tough, challenging, exhilarating, that's kind of how I'd describe it. The work that we've been doing for the project informs the musical process but a lot of the work had to come first. Having t a week or two worth of movement-based sharing, emotional sharing, which is not how I normally work, but it really did inform the process. I'm glad to have gone through it. When I make my own music, it's a very solitary process. And when you're in a bigger group, it's useful to find, I think, the nuance of everyone's feeling to add to the musical information. But even in the sharing, there's just so much simpatico. We were all feeling the same things, yet hampered by or constrained by normality to, to actually show this. So it was excellent, really, really excellent to be part of such a supportive, in sync group of people. I wanted to achieve just a sense of honesty with everybody and openness to what the project was. Like, even from the initial conversation, I wasn't actually quite sure what it would be but I just knew that I was excited to be involved in something raw and a laboratory of ideas and explorations. It is absolutely significant and important that if we're engaging in a creative discussion of varied experience and varied um, abilities, it's a really crucial kind of starting point to spark new conversations and allow someone someday to feel comfortable and to share their own experience. It's been incredibly confronting and exhilarating and it's been a huge challenge. So for the first few days of it, physically and emotionally, it, I was just out of it. I was exhilarated by the content and meeting the people and all the incredible concepts that we were talking about and then at the end of the day I went home and sobbed you know because it was so painful and looking back now my pain level has gone down a significant amount. Projects like this are, are incredible in that way like people with invisible illnesses need stuff like this where we feel out those similarities and explore the concepts behind them like artistically it it just gives so much to your soul i feel like a whole new confident person i can't i can't even express how how life-giving it is and life-changing it is for me 
Personally, I really just wanted to be able to explore movement with other people again. It may seem small, but for me, um, it's actually been quite a leap. I have spent a lot of the past eight years um, not moving at all, directing movement, but not actually moving in my body. So for me, I wanted to kind of um, reawaken that part of myself and I feel like I've definitely achieved that by being part of this project. I think it's really important that this kind of work continues to be made. Um, I'm not sure that a lot of mainstream theatre companies or mainstream dance companies um, connect with these themes expressly. I think it's really important when groups are coming together and expressing their feelings and emotions about these kinds of themes around invisible disability or invisible illness. It's really important. People will experience something that is all being created from and, and stem from people with these lived experiences. It's not that scary to, you know, to either be in a room with or be at work with or exchange with people with mental illness or invisible illness or chronic illness. We are just people and we might be different but we're actually all different and that's something that makes, also makes us the same. I hope everyone goes away with that we're all in this together. We all struggle. Some, some struggles are not as articulated and just to have that after they leave realising that it is really all okay. Life is, life is tough for everyone, just tougher for some, more than others. I think the more work we can make like this and the more that we can continue to see each other's work that we're making, the better. But especially with this kind of installation work as well is that um, it kind of dissipates that us and them or you and me, that um, you're someone experiencing uh, disability or illness and I am not, or vice versa. I think that this kind of installation setup can dissolve that dichotomy. future of this potential development or exhibition could have many different lives and I think it's a really great reminder in all of our individual practices and maybe a responsibility as well now that I will carry forward in my own independent like dance practice just reminding myself that access and how I can help others be comfortable. I want them to see works like this and I want them to, to see people like us and know, okay, so they did that and this is what they suffer. Maybe there's a tiny sliver of hope for me too and maybe they can make it to the next day or the next week. I want it to be a transformative space. I want them to step away from the day-to-day -day world Sometimes art experiences like that can make the pain recede into the background. Sometimes it can make you feel better. And especially if it's something that you have struggled to express for years verbally and something that you have felt so alone in, if people like that come and see it and feel known, and feel seen and feel visible, that, that is important. Mm -hmm.